Welcome to today's episode. We're diving into the world of gaming exploits. Thanks for having me. It's a fascinating, if not controversial, topic. Absolutely. So what exactly is PS Free, and what does it aim to accomplish? PS Free is a collection of exploits for the PS4, focusing on unlocking potential. And I understand you're also looking to make this portable to the PS5. Yes, we're trying to enhance adaptability, particularly for newer consoles. Can you explain what exploits are and why they matter? Exploits find vulnerabilities in console firmware, allowing users greater control. Interesting. Now, some might see this as controversial. Why is that? Well, exploiting consoles can lead to piracy and undermines developers. That's a big concern. How do you balance those risks with this work? We aim to promote learning and understanding within developer communities. And I see you're working on performance tweaks. What does that entail? Performance tweaks enhance stability and speed for users testing these exploits. Got it. You mentioned a bin loader on port 9020. What purpose does it serve? It's crucial for managing how the exploits interact with the console's operating system. It sounds technical. What about the community contributions? How does that work? Our contributors are anonymous, but we value their involvement and insights. That collaboration must be crucial for advancement. Definitely. It fosters creativity and collective problem solving. As we wrap up, what's the main takeaway you want listeners to remember? Understand the balance between innovation and the ethical implications of exploits. That's a thoughtful insight. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. It was great discussing these important topics. And thank you, listeners. Keep exploring, and we'll see you next time.